Mr. Bowtie's Texas High School Sports Machine is driven by Henry Finley and McCombs Ford West, a proud supporter of all area local sports. McCombs Ford West, simply the best. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage not found on TV or in a cheap web stream. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and you're going to make my dogs think I'm the best person in the world. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Big volleyball doubleheader here at Northside Gym as Sotomayor taking on O'Connor and Brandeis taking on Clark. O'Connor has run through for the most part 28, make that 29-6A without too many challenges. They've had a great start to their season overall. Very well could be the team to beat to get to the state semifinals. Sotomayor, the first year program headed up by former Brandeis assistant Sarah Morris, might be a year away from contending, but they could still get into the playoffs depending on how the second half of the season goes. The nightcap, Brandeis taking on Clark. The winner of that one's going to be the first half champion out of 28-6A. Last year, Clark came back from down 0-2 to beat Brandeis early in district play. Brandeis went on to win 33 in a row and the 6A state championship. Let's check out all the action from here at Northside Gym presented by McCombs Ford West. Brandeis and Clark fans so excited for a huge match that will decide playoff seating. But you're going to have to wait because there was a chance at history in the earlier match. Yami Garcia has been the only coach in O'Connor volleyball history. 799 wins in program history and hers, so a chance at 800 if she could beat Sotomayor in the school's first ever meeting. Sarah Morris doing a good job building up the Sotomayor program. By the way, she is Garcia's niece and only 782 wins behind her. Family rivalry, ooh, I like that. O'Connor never really threatened in the match as they won in straight sets to give Yami Garcia her 800th career win, which is O'Connor's 800th program win. Afterwards, a celebration with fans, players, and even opposing coaches. tours that I've had in my past to help me get there, including my mother um, and father, who pushed me to be competitive. So, and great, great kids, great school, great support um, at O'Connor. I've been very fortunate. They're the team that will not let the ball hit the floor, and they're the team that wants to beat us, and I think that's a drive for us to play our A game every single time. Like, we come up, to, up with teams like that. It's incredible. She is an amazing coach. She's well-deserved. Like, she is the best. She deserves it. By the way, O'Connor 31-4 and on the season and will likely be the favorite heading into the tournament. 
Back to Brandeis and Clark. Thank you, fans, for your patience. Last year, Brandeis took the first two sets before Clark rallied to win the match. This year, Brandeis took the opening set. Would history repeat itself? Clark nearly blew a big second set lead, won the third set 25-23, then ran Brandeis out of the gym in the fourth to beat them for the second time in the last three meetings. Big nights by Ariana Robertson and sophomore Natalia Silva helped the Cougars finish off a perfect first half of district. We really stepped up our game at the like the last uh, sets and we brought them down a lot. We got them in, we got in their heads and we just played our game and we, we won, we beat them. <laughs> just finding that energy um, turning it on, the spi like spark, like find that spark, like get momentum for us. And uh, we had a really good leaders on the floor. Um, everyone picked up and just continued to show effort and played hard. And I think that's what made us so successful. This year we have a lot of good chemistry with everybody, um, coaches, QM managers, teammates, everybody. So I think that is going to help us a lot this year. Um, competing more, getting the game more, beating a lot more people than we should. We knew what they were like last year and this year would only be like tough to um, um, beat them and so we worked hard every day, that was our goal um, and just fighting helped us a lot. Of course a friendly reminder that Brandeis who did blow that two set to none lead last year against Clark still went on to win the title. Could history repeat itself? You'll have to follow along with me for the next two months. Reporting from San Antonio, I am Mr. Bowtie.